Hello, Virgos. I'm going to see what's going on with you guys. So this could be love, this could be finances, career, just whatever the cards want to say. Uh, last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that it's time to take back control of your life. And you're going to be amazed by your own power. Like, you're probably already in that energy if, if not in the near future. But you're, yeah, let's see what's going on now. Let's see what the update is with that. Virgos, what do you guys need to know? Six of Wands reversed. Four of Wands upright. So coming out of the public eye, maybe someone was stalking you or watching you, and it seems like you're getting through that. Like there's... Because Six of Wands upright is about being in the public eye, being, you know, recognized. And maybe it's like you maybe you need some time alone. Or maybe there's someone that's been watching you or spying on you. And it seems like there's finally some peace ahead for you. Some peace and stability and quiet. You know, Page of Wands reversed. We got the Strength card. Yeah, you're getting through something right now, I feel. Let's see what else is going on. Three of Cups upright. Two of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Two of Cups, okay. there <laughs> I almost feel it's like a really weird it's a mixed energies here it's almost like you want to be in the public spotlight but not in the way that you have been or like maybe there's it's like you want the attention but you're getting it from the wrong people is the kind of energy that I get like maybe you want to go into business and like maybe you want to start your own business but like you have like a shady business partner around you so you're kind of trying to get rid of them and start your own business or like maybe you're on like maybe you're a YouTube reader but you want different clientele or you have jealous people around you it's just that kind of energy where it's like you're kind of almost laying low for a little bit so you can have that peace but it's like you do want to be in the public eye but you want the right people to be drawn to you you don't want to keep drawing in the wrong people or dra drawing in jealous people so I think you're kind of like making some moves here where it's like you have to be strong and you have to find that peace I think you are going to be letting go of something Two of Swords, something that's ended. This could be a relationship. Uh, it could be a jealous friendship, a uh, toxic codependent friendship, a jealous person. I get the energy of just shady, jealous people around kind of is what I'm feeling here. Two of Swords, so it's like you're, you're not trying to save them anymore, though. You're not letting your empathy get the best of you anymore. You're not trying to save them and trying to revive this connection. You're not trying to see the best in them anymore. You're, you're looking, you're looking away and ahead. You're, you're not looking at this anymore. You're, you're holding on to your, your prized possession, your jewels. For some of you, this is a business. This is like a, a potential business partner. Maybe it's like a lover that wanted to go into business with you. Could be a friend. Just someone that's like keeping you from your path is what I feel. And you're, you're finally like, you know what? I'm not going to keep watering this. I'm not going to keep watering these dead, dead, dead plants, basically. I'm going to hold on to, you know, this new business, this new career, this, my, my self-esteem, my pride. Just you're, you're holding on to your jewels here, your, your seashell. Um, and I do feel like you will be social. You will have it, but you need to kind of, it's almost like you have to stop. And you, like, it, it almost feels like you've. How do I explain it? It's like you've gone down a certain path and you have to kind of take a step back and stop and then come back to it again. It's like you're doing the same thing, but you're doing it in a different way. So maybe you have to, I don't want to say start a new YouTube channel or anything crazy like that, but it's like if you're on YouTube, it's almost like you're taking a step back and you're um, maybe blocking some people, maybe like blocking people on your on your social media or something. Or maybe like on your social media page, it's like maybe you run a group with people and you're like getting rid of some of the group members or something because they're jealous and toxic. It's like that kind of energy or you're, you're like a jealous friend or family member or lover. It could be a sister, it could be just some that kind of energy is what I feel. I just feel that, that like a competitive jealous energy around this group. 
And so it's like, you're still going to go, you're still going to, you know, run with your business idea, but maybe you're just going to do it alone instead of doing it with this person that you originally wanted to. And you'll know if this is for you. Like you'll know, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't fit. Like your intuition would be telling you again, like you'd be seeing major red flags that let you know not to go into business with this person. So you're already going to know this. So like I said, don't only take it if it resonates. If, if it's something that you've been intuitively feeling as well, just take this as confirmation but don't make decisions based off this alone. You know what I mean? Like this, you should be listening to your own intuition as well about this person. Um, and it might not be a business partner. It might just be someone in like one of the groups you run. It might be someone on your social media. Maybe you're in the public eye for some reason and you have like a jealous coworker. It's just someone around you that doesn't want to see you doing better than them. And you're kind of aware of this. And so you're taking a step back and kind of lying low. And then coming back full force you know we have the infinity sign here too with the strength card so it's like yeah you're going to be in the public eye you're going to be you're going to be in the this the spotlight maybe it's um maybe it's a jealous ex and you have mutual friends and you still want to be friends with them but it's just difficult it could be there's so many scenarios here that i can that i can feel i think it's going to apply to you guys each differently for the most part but um it's like, I think you're going to come back to it and do the, and, you know, still be on this path, but you're just going to do it alone. Just take this as confirmation that yes, there is someone jealous and petty and insecure around you. And you do need to be mindful. You might need to lay low for a while and rethink things because this person might be trying to sabotage you. So you might be like putting yourself out there and doing things, but like maybe this person is trying to, to sabotage your new business ideas or they're stealing your new business ideas and they're, they're, um, you know, talking to someone else about like stealing your business ideas and like plotting against you kind of energy. Like they're, they're um, just someone that's shady, someone that's jealous, someone that doesn't want to see you doing better than them. And like I said, I think you already know who this person is. So you probably already feel this. You probably already intuitively know about this. This is just kind of like a confirmation for you guys that are in this specific energy group. Like I said, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate, but and if you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box, right below this video. Just send me an email. I can do a private read for you. Any donations are appreciated as well. My donation links are also right below in the description box. And please subscribe if this resonates with you. But um, anyway, it's like, yeah, you're going to be in the public eye. Like you're still going to be in the public eye, but it's almost like you need to like six of wands reverse because six of wands upright is all about being in the public eye. And it's almost like you know that you need to kind of step back and maybe don't say so much. Don't, it's like you're giving away your business ideas or your, someone's just jealous and they're trying to sabotage you basically. So for your own peace of mind, for your own peace and stability, step back, maybe lay low for just a little bit so you can ground and rethink things and really listen to your intuition and not be clouded by this person, by this person's jealousy and negative energy. Um, not, not this person, but you know what I mean? This person you need to let go of right here. The ship that you need to let go of. But um, anyway, I, so I feel like, like, yeah, just like kind of step back a little bit. Don't say so much. You know what I mean? Like if you're getting a new house, don't, don't post about it. Get the new house and then post about it. Wait, wait, because this person wants to sabotage you. This person is sending negativity towards you. So just, just keep your mouth shut for just a little bit and journal it, write it down, plan, but kind of keep some more things to yourself. I feel like you're very honest and you want to do what's right and you want to be able to talk to people, but there's people around you that are acting like your friends, but they aren't. So you can't actually talk to them because they're going to steal your ideas or they're going to see it as competition. They're going to get jealous and you probably feel this energy too. It's like where you, you know, you might have like a best friend or a sister and it's like, you tell them or a brother even, and it's like, you tell them, Hey, like I got, I got, you know, a loan for a house or I got a new car or I met someone today. They're great. And like, they don't seem happy for you. Like their energy, even though they, they smile and they say, Oh, that's nice. Like their energy is just like icky. Like they feel like, like they have that mentality of why do you get to have that and not me? They see you as a threat. They see you as competition. And Like I said, I think that you already know this intuitively. I think you already feel this, but maybe you've been in denial about it. Maybe it's like someone you're related to. And so you try to see the best in them because, you know, for the family's sake, 
Um, or maybe it's a business partner. And so you, you try to see the best in them because, you know, you don't want to go on your own or, you know, whatever. There might be some kind of obligation or some kind of sense that it just might make things more stressful if you went on your own. But honestly, you can't trust this person. And you know this. Like, you know this intuitively already. So it's kind of like saying, yeah, just don't don't say so much. Just kind of keep to yourself a little bit right now. Find that peace and stability. Find some quiet time to meditate, to to ground, to go out in nature and take your shoes off. Go to the beach. Go to go to the woods. Go to whatever nature is around you and, and take your shoes off and ground and connect with the trees. Connect with nature. Connect with if there's like a garden around you, go to that. Just something something to kind of balance you out so you can really hear your own voice because it's like this person's jealousy is clouding your judgment this person's negativity and their their opinions it's like they have a very dominant energy that kind of clouds your your judgment sometimes so you need to hear your own voice again if you really need to get you to hear your own voice again i feel you really need to ground um Because I feel like otherwise someone's going to take credit for your ideas and someone's going to like steal your ideas or or like maybe if you're going to business someone with someone, it's like maybe not even stealing your ideas, but maybe they have their own way that they want to do things. And so you're telling them all the way that all the ways that you want to do things and they're just kind of nodding and saying, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then once you guys are officially in business and you guys both have your name on like like the legal, like the paperwork, then you get screwed over because they're like, actually, we're going to do it like this. And they're... They're kind of a gaslighter. I kind of feel like a dominant kind of energy from them where it's just a weird energy. It's just like a weird shady energy that I get. It's just something untrustworthy and they might be really charming. And so it might be hard to see through it, but intuitively, you know, something feels off. Like I've had people like that in my life where I've had, like, I've met sociopaths and like, sometimes you can't tell that they're sociopaths right away. Sometimes they're very charming and they, everyone loves them because they don't care because they don't, they don't know what I mean. Like they don't care. They're not going to show anyone their bad side because they just, they don't care. They don't have that, that depth. They don't have that emotion to even show their bad side. You know what I mean? But it's like something feels off and you need to listen to that. If something's feeling off, if you're feeling like maybe I shouldn't sign this contract, maybe I shouldn't go into business with this person, maybe I should rethink this. Um, like, and again, don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Intuitively, you'll know this. Like, listen to your body. Like, you'll, you'll know. Like, you'll, something will be screaming at you to not do this. Like you, this is just going to be confirmation. If this is your reading, then this won't be a shock to you. If this is a shock to you, then it's probably not your reading. If this is your reading, it's going to be something that you've kind of known for a while, but you've been in denial about. And this is just going to be confirmation for what you already know. So I just want to say that because I know I don't want you guys getting in your head and sabotaging something good. Okay. But like I said, you'll, you'll know if this is for you. But, um, but yeah, don't share your ideas with this person. Don't share your business ideas with this person or whoever it is. Or it could, like I said, it could be like a sister or a friend that's just, maybe it's not about business. Maybe it's just about love. And you're just like, like every time you tell them something good that happens to you, you can kind of sense that they're not happy for you. Like you feel that energy is off and then, you know, something falls through. Like you tell them you're getting a house loan and then a month later, it's like you, you get denied for the house loan. Or the relationship, you know, relationship has issues. It's like, because they're so jealous. They're sending so much negativity towards you. They do not want to see you do better than them. This is a very bitter, very insecure, very low vibrational, jealous person that you need to be aware of. You need to listen to your intuition and not ignore the red flags about this person. Um, but, you know, you can you can have this, this business or whatever you want to do. You can have that, but you have to stop. You have to ground yourself. You have to, you know to step a step back for a little bit and think about things for some of you, this person might be trying to rush you. This person might be like, let's do this now. Let's do this and this and this. And you're, you're kind of like, wait a minute, let's take it slow. And this person is trying to rush in because they, they know that they're tricking you. And intuitively you, you feel like you want to go slower and think things through. You need to listen to that. And you need to think about this. You need to step back and think about this right now. Seriously. I cannot emphasize that enough. Um, and like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is right below in the description box below this video. It is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. 
Um, any donations are appreciated, and please subscribe if it resonates. But anyway, you will after you, you know, see the truth after you take the blindfold off and you acknowledge the truth, acknowledge what you already know intuitively and you make proper changes and you might, there might be some drama. There might be some chaos. There might, you might have to deal with some confrontation, honestly. And I know it's uncomfortable because I sense like an anxiety here. It's like, you don't want the confrontation, but you know what, if someone's bullying you and someone's gaslighting you and manipulating you and trying to trick you and trying to just use you and sabotage you, you need to stand up to them. Even if your voice shakes, even if it's scary, even if you have to do it through email or through text, even if you can't do it through voice or face to face, you just need to do it. Just send the message. You know what I mean? You, you, you know what I mean? Like you, you, and again, you know, you know, if this is for you, I take no responsibility for what you do or do not do as a result of my readings. It's all up to you. Full disclaimer there. But, um, but yeah, after you, after you clear this up and acknowledge the truth, I see you coming back to whatever this is on your own or possibly with someone new who's more trustworthy. Um, and you, it does lead to 10 of pentacles, but at first you're going to have to let go of this person and you know what? The path might take longer because of it. You know what I mean? Knight of pentacles is like, it's slow, but steady. It's like, you might have to rebuild. You might, you might have to rebuild. Maybe you guys do have a business together and, and it, you know, it's time to rebuild and it might take a while, but you know, you'll get there slow and steady um and it will lead to 10 pentacles is what i feel you also have love coming in after that i feel so i hope that all makes sense um and thank you guys for watching